Did you know that faceless YouTube channels like this are making over $40,000 a month simply for posting faceless content on YouTube? And best of all, a new AI tool, NVIDIA AI, just got launched and it literally allows you to make these faceless videos in five minutes or less by simply entering a prompt like this one. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how you can make viral faceless content on YouTube in just five minutes, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what title and thumbnail to use because it's gonna make it way easier for you to actually create this content. And if you're not getting views on your faceless content right now, it's probably because you're messing up that last part. Step number one is you need to actually choose the niche that you're gonna go after. In just a second, I'm gonna share with you three niches that I think could easily make you over $10,000 a month. But first, I need to make sure that the niche that you choose fits two criteria. The first one is that there's not a lot of competition. One of the biggest mistakes that I see faceless channels make on YouTube right now is they go into spaces that are overcrowded. Things like motivation or something along the lines of that. And then what ends up happening is their content doesn't get pushed out because there's so many other people competing for that space. So eventually what you get is all these people creating videos and each of them will get a little bit of views, but nobody really takes home the whole pie because there's so many people uploading so much content about it. Instead, what you need to be doing is going into a space that is evergreen. You need to be going into something that you can continuously create content on and that there's a large appetite for because no matter how good or how bad your video is, it's going to go viral so long as there's enough demand for that content that you're going after. Because remember, at the end of the day, all YouTube is is a supply and demand curve. If there's too much supply of content and not enough demand, guess what ends up happening? Your views are going to decrease decrease over time or they might not take off in the first place. The second thing I'd strongly suggest is that the niche that you choose is something you're passionate about. If you're not passionate about the niche, well, you're probably not gonna have success on YouTube. And there are three niches that I would strongly suggest you go into right now. The first one is going to be scary stories, serial killer stories, or just scary stuff in general. For example, kind of like true crime. I mean, think about it. How popular is cops on TV? You could do basically that same thing on YouTube, but do it with a different twist. The second thing I would do is a cooking channel, especially since the holidays are coming up and you can literally do 30 days of Thanksgiving or 30 days of Christmas recipes and you could even mix this up for so many different things. For example, you could do breakfast, you could do lunch, you could do dinner, you could do snacks, you could do appetizers, you could do different drinks. And then the third one is going to be city tours because there's essentially an unlimited amount of content that you can create around city tours either in other countries or in the United States. And guess what? A ton of people want to know what it's like to visit popular destinations. So you could simply make a channel all about this. Best of all, you don't don't even have to visit any of these places to be able to create any of this content. And this niche has a really high RPM. So now that you've chosen your niche or one of the ones that I just outlined, you need to pull up in video AI so that it can literally create the content for you. So from here, all we have to do is load up in video AI and we can literally have it create the video in just a few minutes. So the first thing that you need to do is select a workflow. For this example, I'm gonna use a YouTube explainer, but obviously you could do this for shorts or do this for a ton of different other types of content. So we're gonna click this. I want it to make a seven minute video. Now I've already wrote out a prompt, but essentially the first thing that you need to do is write out the prompt. So for this, I'm gonna ask it, please create a YouTube video about the top five scariest criminals of all time. And then below this, what I have here is all the different creative direction. So what I'm going to ask it to do is the following. The video should contain storytelling and key points. The overall vibe of the video should be educational, but with a scary twist. The point of the video is to help make people aware of the top five scariest criminals of all time with a great video. The voiceover should be a deep voice with dynamic pacing and we should use simple words. A lot of the stock footage should be added and doomy music should be included. It's also going to ask me to specify the type of music. I'm going to say doomy music here. And then when it comes to the settings, we could choose whether we want it to be male or female. You could choose so many different voices. For example, I'm going to go with a middle-aged British voice for this one. You could choose watermark text and what kind of stock footage to use. And then all you have to do is click continue here and it's going to generate the video. Now remember, this gets rid of the process of us having to create our own B-roll, edit our own content, do our own voiceover. It literally is going to do all of this for you. Just like that, it's literally done creating the content. And remember, this watermark that's showing right here is going to be taken away after you export the video. So let's watch a few seconds of it. Have you ever wondered who the top five scariest criminals of all time are? As we delve into the annals of history, we find that criminals come in all shapes and sizes. Yet there are those who stand out not for their deeds grandeur, but for the sheer terror they've instilled. Now the craziest part about this is you can literally get it to edit the content for you. For example, you can have it change the voiceover from a guy to a girl, or you could even get it to add subtitles throughout the entire piece of content like I just did. All I had to do was literally type in here and say, please add subtitles to the entire video and boom, you'll see here that it added them in. Now, 
You could do several other things with this. For example, we can come into edit here for editing media or editing the script. So we can literally go through and change parts of the script that we don't like, or we could come in here and change the stock footage. We could even do a search for different stock footage or upload our own custom media. So you can literally edit everything about this. Even if you wanted to add in a call to action, like I recommend most creators do, you should have a call to action at the end of your piece of content, both through the voiceover and text on the screen that gives people a good reason to subscribe because creators that do this get two times the amount of subscribers compared to creators that don't. And all you have to do to make that possible is come in here and type it in as a prompt. Now you're probably wondering how on earth you get rid of these watermarks here and it's incredibly easy. All you have to do is click export, export video. I would strongly recommend that you export in 1080p and choose no watermarks here, which by the way, you're going to need a plus account or higher for, and then you click continue. And from here, it's going to export this file and you're going to see that there are no watermarks. And boom. Just like that, the video was done exporting and from here we can play it and see that the video now has no watermarks in it. Let's see what it looks like. ...into the annals of history. We find that criminals come in all shapes and sizes, yet there are those who stand out not for their deeds grandeur, but for the sheer terror they've instilled. Now you can get started with NVIDIA AI by going to the pinned comment below and registering right now for free. Because creating a faceless channel by leveraging AI is a once in a lifetime opportunity right now. Not many people know about this. And if you get in on this early, it could literally make you thousands of dollars a month simply by leveraging a tool like NVIDIA AI. But I will warn you, if you're serious about creating passive income with a faceless YouTube channel, you need to do two things. First, I would strongly suggest that you upgrade to a plus plan because it's gonna allow you to remove all of those watermarks and it's gonna take some of the restrictions off when it comes to how much content you can actually create. It's only $20 a month and that's honestly a steal because it's gonna replace having to hire a voice actor, it's gonna replace having to write out the scripts and having to edit out the video which is going to save you hours of time or thousands of dollars a month because you would have had to pay literally three people to do those three jobs. And secondly, you need to make sure that you hop on this right now by going to the pin comment below and registering because once word is out about this, it's going to be a lot harder to create these faceless channels. But I will warn you, Choosing the right niche and then having NVIDIA AI do the content for you is not going to be enough. You also need to make sure that you're choosing the right title and choosing the right thumbnail for your content because if you miss those two things, you could have the best video in the world, but nobody's going to actually see it. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see faceless channels make. So instead, what you need to be doing is you need to make sure that you actually go through and do a search for the topic that you're about to do. And you're going to see a bunch of different titles come up and a bunch of different thumbnails come up. If you don't see any videos that are relevant, then I would strongly suggest that you go ahead and choose a different topic because the way that YouTube works is it's based off of past watch history. Now, of course, you want to be going after niches that don't have a lot of competition. So if you see too many videos, that might also be a sign that I would go after a different topic. But essentially what you want to see is a few videos that have done well. And from here, you want to make note of all those titles and all those thumbnails and you want to actually go through and make a title and thumbnail that's better. One of the easiest ways for you to do this is find a topic that did well years ago that's got a lot of views and then update the title and update the thumbnail. For example, you could update it for a new year, you could update it for a new news event. And what you want to make sure is that your thumbnail actually stands out against your competitors because if it doesn't stand out, nobody's going to click on yours and it's going to lead to your post not going viral. For example, if we go into a search based off of the example that I gave you earlier of top five scariest criminals, you're going to see tons of different things pop up. And there's going to be a few trends that you notice on the thumbnails, but I don't actually think any of these are good. The first one you're going to notice, is there are a lot of women there. The second one is that they have a lot of people that look really creepy until we find this thumbnail right here. And I actually think that this thumbnail is amazing and it can continuously be replicated. And there's a few reasons for this. First and foremost, it has several different people on it. Secondly, it has how many people each one of these people people had killed. And I know it might sound crazy, but that actually gets somebody to click on the video because they want to hear the stories about how sick and how crazy these people are. And this comes back to actually understanding the audience and the niche that you're going after. Because if you understand that, you're going to be able to reverse engineer titles and thumbnails that are actually going to win the click. And from there, people are going to view the content you created and boom, you're going to be able to monetize this viral faceless YouTube channel you made. But we can't stop there because you also need to be choosing the right descriptions for your content and choosing the right tags. Because again, if you mess these two things up, it's going to be really hard for YouTube to know whether or not they have an audience for the piece of content that you're creating. And this is a massive opportunity right now because YouTube is literally pushing out small channels to try to compete with TikTok. If you look at TikTok, they push out some of your first videos to keep you addicted to the app. YouTube is doing the same thing and it's a huge opportunity for you to blow up one of these channels right now if it's a new channel so long as you create the content 
content the right way, which we've already covered. You choose the right title and choose the right thumbnail, which we've already covered. And now you need to make sure that you're choosing the right description and the right tags, because if you mess these two things up, it's gonna destroy the amount of views that you get. Now, when it comes to your description, ideally, you just wanna write a two to three sentence description that describes the video and has the keywords that you put within your title. Now, on top of that, when it comes to your tags, I would just choose 450 to 475 characters, and please do not make the mistake of putting hashtags in here. For example, for this video, these are the tags that I chose, and you can kind of back out from that to determine what you should do for your specific video based on the title. Now at this point, all you have to do is upload this piece of content at the right time, and you're gonna be well on your way to having your first viral faceless YouTube channel post. So check out this video right here that is gonna tell you the best time you should be posting on YouTube right now.